Hello and welcome everyone, Mina is here and today I'm going to show you how I have made this skid marks on the floor using two ways. The first one will be using the particles and trails and the second one will be using the curve wrap deformer. So let's get started. A much simpler form. What I have here is this animated cube and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cube under in particles I'm going to choose emit from object. I'm going to the dynamic properties and I'm going to disable the gravity. Alright, so we want to emit particles in a certain place, it's not the whole way through. So I'm going to animate the emitter. Say around frame 27, I'm going to set the key and go backwards one frame and set this to zero. And we will be emitting to frame 35 and in, in frame 36 I will set this to zero. Alright, so now we got this. So I'm going to select the in particles, then select the geometry, and under in particles we find goal. Open the option box and make sure that the weight is set to 1. So now we don't see the particles, and the reason is the in particles just following our mesh, and that's what we want. Select the in particles and under mesh utilities and choose add trails to particles. So if I play now, you can see that our particles have trails. So to make it last and not decay, I'm going to increase the trail length to a hundred. And now we can come and modify the way that they are looking by creating a NURB circle and add this to the profile curve. And now we can adjust the way that they are looking. Alright, so that was the method one using the particles and trails. Alright, so the second way we will be drawing the curve ourselves. So we need to create a plane. And then I'll jump to the top view and come to create curves CV curve tool and we'll start to draw it like we have a drift wheel or something like that After that, I'm going to select my geometry and then the curve and under deform, you can find the curve wrap deformer. And now we can come to the curve rotation and we can rotate this to face upwards. So I put here minus 90. Now we can come to the mesh scaling and start to play with length scale. We have the offset, we don't have to start from the very beginning. We 
we can come and animate the length scale So we can come in here and start to delete some random rows. And we will end up with something like this. It's pretty easy and fast way to to make a skid marks. All right, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mina, and I'm going to see you next time.